What to expect from OSHA in 2020? Proposed rulemakings and initiatives stand out on the agency's agenda. Don't expect the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, to slow down as it enters the fifth decade of its existence, following a year of heightened activity in support of its workplace safety mission. An agency of the U.S. Department of Labor, DOL, OSHA spent 2019 increasing its number of employer inspections and pursuing new rulemakings and programs. In fiscal year 2019, it conducted 33,401 inspections, more inspections than the previous three years, addressing violations related to trenching, falls, chemical exposure, silica exposure and other hazards. The enforcement numbers do not include 22 state plans which are responsible for covering both private sector and state and local government workers, and six additional states covering only state and local government workers. Those states rely on their own resources and assistance from federal OSHA to enforce both federal and state worker safety laws, and have not yet released their enforcement statistics for this year. During the same period, OSHA provided a record 1,392,611 workers with training on safety and health requirements through the agency's various education programs, including the OSHA Training Institute Education Centers, Outreach Training Program, and Susan Harwood Training Grant Program. The number of workers that OSHA trained in FI 2019 includes workers from all states, including those with state plans. OSHA also reported that its compliance assistance programs did more this year to help small businesses address safety and health hazards in their workplaces. In FI 2019, OSHA said its free on-site consultation program identified 137,885 workplace hazards and protected 3.2 million workers from potential harm. According to the agency's recently published agenda for next year, in June it plans to release its proposed rule on occupational exposure to crystalline silica that would allow employers in general industry to meet the same standards as the construction industry. OSHA's request for information comment period on this topic ended in October. During that period, OSHA received information from the industry on the effectiveness of control measures not included for the tasks and tools listed in the agency's Table 1, tasks and tools involving exposure to crystalline silica that are not listed in Table 1, and information on dust control methods in limiting exposure to crystalline silica when workers are performing these operations. OSHA also will review this information in consideration of potential revisions to Table 1. Table 1 serves as a compliance op show for more on this story. Visit the news article link.